13 inches with a sizable front overhang. Creative use of interior space is the vehicle's trademark. Front seat passengers get the usual royal treatment in terms of space and features to occupy their attention. Second row riders are also able to enjoy some serious stretch out room with dimensions that are generous enough to let the seat backs recline a bit. The third row setup has got to be one of the most accessible and comfortable we have seen in this segment. Like every other Mazda, there are three versions of the CX-9, Sport, Touring, and Grand Touring, each with its own set of features. But they all share the same powertrain, a 3.7 liter aluminum V6 engine. It delivers 273 horsepower and 270 foot-pounds of torque. The gearbox is a six-speed automatic that works in both the front-wheel and all-wheel drive configuration. This is enough to be able to pull a 3,800-pound trailer, so don't plan on using it to move much more than a medium-sized boat. With a relatively low liftover point, cargo space in the CX-9 is easy to access. There's a 17 cubic feet of space with the third row seats up, which doubles with them down and more than doubles again to 100 cubic feet when the second row is folded flat. We spent a week driving the CX-9 and found the handling to be better than expected for something this big, considering it still uses a hydraulic power steering system. What makes the CX-9 appealing are the near luxury level features along with passenger and cargo space. But considering how small the segment is, don't expect a major redesign anytime in the near future. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.